Frank Freshwaters was a man with a secret. He spent much of his life on the run, living under an assumed name, getting married, driving trucks, even raising a family. But some 56 years later, the law has finally caught up with Frank Freshwaters. And now he is fighting for his freedom in the very same place where his run from the law began nearly six decades ago. He was actually captured here in Melbourne down this dirt path. How did Frank Freshwaters escape prison? And how did he remain free for so long? Only he knows, and he's not talking. Florida Today spoke to his friends and family and even traveled to Ohio to piece together his story. He's one of the uh, oldest fugitive cases we have. Um, we caught up with him in Melbourne, Florida yesterday. Frank Freshwaters is his name. He escaped again in 1959. When we arrested him, he admitted everything. Florida Today reporter Rick Neal went to Ohio to track down more information about Freshwaters and his crime. After the U.S. Marshal Service tracked down Frank Freshwaters, he was brought here to the Brevard County Jail Complex in Sharps. But Freshwaters' criminal life really began in Akron, Ohio. It was there one night in 1957 that Freshwaters was speeding down South Arlington Street in front of what is now a strip mall. His vehicle struck and killed a Goodyear factory worker named Eugene Flint. Flint left behind a widow and three young sons. Today, Flint's son Richard is 60 years old. I asked him what he thinks should happen to the man who killed his father. Back in June, Richard said Freshwater should do some time behind bars, but he would simply get free meals, free health insurance, and watch TV all day. But Richard's position has hardened as weeks go by. Now, he says Freshwater should spend the rest of his life in prison. Back in 1957 in Ohio, Freshwaters was convicted of second-degree manslaughter for killing Eugene Flint. He was initially sentenced to probation, but he violated the rules, and a judge sent him to prison. But he didn't go to just any prison. He went to the Ohio State Reformatory, a notorious prison where the Hollywood movie The Shawshank Redemption was filmed. His good behavior, and some say even charm, got him out of Shawshank and onto a minimum security work farm. It had such low security that in 1959, Freshwater simply walked away, hoping for a second chance at life. After his escape, Freshwater's lived in West Virginia for 15 years without so much as a traffic ticket. Then, in 1975, he was captured only to be released when Governor Archmore declined to extradite him. In 1987, Freshwaters moved to Melbourne, Florida. His new name, William Harold Cox. Cox would later keep his secret from nearly everyone, even those who thought they knew him best. I know a lot about Bill. Oh, almost a lot. <laughs> the past has been going on I didn't know about. When it would get really cold, we would worry about him because all he had was his little kerosene heater. But he was stubborn when it comes to that. He wasn't leaving that place for nothing. We'd invite him to go with us last Christmas to SeaWorld, but he wouldn't go. He never gave me a reason on why not. I guess he's just not, a, he's not big into crowds. Not big into crowds. But his life as a fugitive came to an end with a knock at his trailer door. It was the U.S. Marshal's office and the Brevard County Sheriff's deputies. They had a question for Mr. Freshwaters. The mugshot that you guys used to kind of identify him or have him identify mm -hmm. himself uh, was actually from 1959. 50... 59. 59. Right. So we're talking five decades old. Mm -hmm. um, what, uh, what did he say when he, he saw the photo? I showed him the photograph more or less as a way to break the ice. You know, they walked up to him, showed him the photograph, asked him something to the effect of, have you seen this person? And his answer was something like, um, I haven't seen that person in a long, long time. And at that point, wow. they uh, you know, basically confronted him with the fact they believed he was Frank Freshwaters, and uh, he, he was very cooperative at that point, you know, and uh, said, yes, indeed, I am that person, and, and I'm who you're looking for. I am that person. Now, the question remains. Will Freshwaters be released from an Ohio State prison, or will he spend the rest of his life behind bars in the Buckeye State? An August 25th parole hearing could be key 
as to whether or not he will receive another chance at life outside of prison.